Hey there everyone, Captain Beards here, bringing you another Land Resort Mobile video. Let's get it. Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a quick video. We're just going to be discussing the update that came to the game. I have the Facebook page open on my other screen here. Um, so obviously there's maintenance, it lasts to 60 minutes, blah blah blah. Uh, we did get compensation, they gave us three hammers, uh, 50,000 gold, and I believe they gave us a Trinity Voucher too, that's what it doesn't say on here, but in my mailbox I got a Trinity Voucher also, with the three hammers and the um, 50,000 gold. So, pretty nice of them to give us that voucher as an extra. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll talk about the banner in a second here. Uh, and then the new class for Silver Wolf. Let's go over to Silver Wolf right now. I haven't worked on him just yet. Uh, yeah, so new class for Silver Wolf, which he gets the Ranger. So he got the Shadow, and now he's got the Ranger. Um, like I said, I don't know if I would run him as a Ranger just because. Let's see who he's with. Uh, He's on the Origins of Light team, and my Luna currently is a Ranger, so I don't think I'm going to put him as a Ranger just because I have Luna as a Ranger. Uh, who else? Uh, it's not very anybody else there. So if you have your Luna as a Flyer, then he can make a very strong Ranger, especially if you have your Die Hard already as an Assassin. Um, and the Meteor Strike team. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the Meteor Strike team, if you have Narm and she's a Ranger for you, then you can run him as an assassin because he makes a very strong assassin. But do note on this team, Zoraida and Die Hard make very powerful assassins already. So you can actually skip over making him assassin and ranger. So he could fit quite well in both of his uh, teams here as a ranger. So not a bad fit at all. Um, let's see here. And he gets high elves and demon hunters now as a ranger. So let's see. The high elves are okay. I mean, attack and defense increased by 10% and woods and mountain terrain. The problem with them, that is that you just gotta make sure you're in those special terrains, right? And the demon hunters, before attacking 45% chance to reduce enemies' mobility by two and decrease defense by 20%. The cool thing about running him as um, a ranger or an assassin is that no matter what, he's probably going to be using units that have that range. So you could actually keep the mist dancers on him if you wanted to and run him as a ranger because they they do range strikes here um same thing with uh ballistas uh samurai same thing so that's the pretty good thing about this unit and running him as a ranger is that he's not going to use valuable he's not going to lose his valuable units he's actually still going to keep them so very very cool unit um definitely going to want to work on him now um but before i do work on him i am going to be leveling up my narm uh, Narm is my next character right after I finish getting Shelfinol up because I'm working on getting my Shelfinol to 60 because I've been liking her a lot, a lot more. Um, let's see what else they've done here. Oh, the Gate of Fate stages for our boy, uh, Silver Wolf here. I think the next Gate of Fate stage I'm going to do tomorrow, which is going to be Luna, wherever she is. Yeah, she's down here, so I'm going to be doing Luna next. Um, but Silver Wolf, they brought his Gate of Fate stage. As you can see right there, so now you can actually farm him up. Uh, pretty, it'll be pretty cool to see his story and how he ties in with everybody else. Um, and let's see what else. Oh, and one thing that we've been wanting, and they hopped on really fast, and I'm pretty happy that they finally did that. Uh, let's go over to the first one that's been quite in the game for quite some time and haven't been worked on. So they have English voices for Sonya, English voices for Lanford. <laughs> I often listen to my subordinates as well. What would you like to know, Commander? It's such a soft voice. And then my absolute favorite, the English voice for Listel. <laughs> you hire demons too? Well maybe I can help you with the training. To be honest, sometimes I don't know what I should do or feel when I'm together with you. So awesome, I've been waiting for that. I did switch over to the Japanese voices and then ever since I, once I read the update and seen that they added the voice, the English voices for Lanford and Listow, I was like, I'm switching right back ASAP just because um, Listow is like, she's tied right now for my favorite unit. It was, first my favorite unit was Alana. 
I say Lana was like my all-time favorite unit. But now uh, Lista is strongly tied for that position with Lana, so very cool. Uh, they still need to add their Gate of Fate still, because I would farm the crap out of her Gate of Fate ASAP. Um, and let's see. Okay, so let's go over to the banner now. So the Origins of Light Destiny Summon Banner, is it worth summoning? The answer is yes, depending on your box and depending on um, if you want to, right? If you do not have an SSR healer, if you do not have Liana or Tiaras, then this banner is 100% worth it. I would actually say if you don't have Liana or Tiaras, this banner is better to summon on than the Monsoon of Yalis. Just because this banner is fantastic, right? Um, and, I, and honestly, if you have Listel, you can just walk away from this banner. Lanford is good, but I feel like the worth is really Listel, if I'm being honest with you guys. That's my opinion, so don't take it to heart, but that's just my opinion. Um, but if you have the extra tickets, you might just want to say, you know what? I'm just going to save up for uh, a SSR healer. Boom, here you go. You got TRS. Tiaras is a fantastic healer. Um, I believe her and Liana are both S tier in the game. They're the only units that are S tier or uh, the highest tier, whatever it is, um, in the game. And that's because they are healers and they can pretty much hold the team together, right? Um, they have very, very, very powerful moves. So if you do not have an SSR healer, this banner is boom, 100% worth it for you. Now, if you do have Tiaras and... You, you, you're like, okay, so I don't need an SSR healer, so what else, right? Well, what kind of team do you want to run? If you want to run the Princess Faction team, then Luna is your answer. She's actually probably one of the strongest, if not, some people say, the strongest Princess Faction buffer in the game. Um, me, personally, I do like Shelfano a little bit more, uh, but Luna's Princess Faction buff is extremely good, right, right here is extremely good it deals the extra fixed damage which is nice just do note that if you use her princess faction buff that fixed damage does not apply to bosses right so uh the dragons it will not apply to them so understand that that's why i take shelfano over luna most of the time that's why you see my luna she's not running her buff here she's running her normal moves it's because my shelfano is actually going to be running the buff um so do note that if you do need a Princess Faction buffer, if you do not have Shelfano and if you do not have Luna, then this banner can also be worth it for you too. Now another thing here is Die Hard. Now Die Hard was a free unit way back. So if you started the game day one, then you got Die Hard for free. If you do not, then Die Hard is um, a still an extremely good unit. He's not like those other games. Other games, when they give you a free to play unit, um, the unit's usually not too good. But in this case, Die Hard is actually a very, very good unit. Like, he's he's extremely good. I haven't been working on him lately just because I've been so busy with my other units and stuff. But, extremely valuable unit. And on top of that, Die Hard can fit on any team because he carries his own faction buff. Right? So, you could actually unlock his faction buff and put him on any one of your teams. And he'll fit in just right. Right? And usually with Die Hard, you are going to be running his faction buff on the Origins of Light team and uh, also he's part of um, some other good teams here. Now another thing guys is if you want to run all three of these new units, or old units I should say, if you want to run Die Hard, Luna, and Tiaras together, then you kind of really need that Die Hard. Just because Die Hard carries the Origins of Light faction buff and Luna and Tiaras are on that faction. So all in all, if you are missing any one of these units, I would say at least throw a couple summons for just to see if you can at least get one of them. If you're missing a healer, if you're missing TRs, guys, definitely go hard and summon on this banner for uh, TRs just because you really need an SSR healer in this game um, unless unless you're powered up your Sophia or Milda very, very, very heavy. Um, but besides that, if you have Luna, if you have TRs, uh... I could kind of say you could pass for Die Hard. If I'm being honest with you guys, I could say you could skip Die Hard. He's a very good unit. He's phenomenal. But I could honestly say skip. Now, if you do have Shelfinal um, and you have Die Hard and TRs and you only need Luna, that's another thing where it's like, uh, I mean, I believe in seven days. It's either seven days or 14 days, guys, when one of these banners up. I think it's 14 days. I think in 14 days, we're going to get a brand new banner. 
So uh, with new characters, I believe it's uh, damn, I can't think of it. But let me go get the name right here real quick. Hold on. All right, so I have the banner on my second screen here. So May second, we're supposed to be getting the Storm of Magic, which is going to be Bozel, Lana, and Shelfinol. Uh, Shelfinol doesn't really fit there. Uh, the pretty cool thing is, if you do not pull Luna here, the next focus banner that we're going to get, which is May second, like I said, is Shelfinol. So she's also a Princess Faction buff leader, which is pretty dope. Um, Bozel, phenomenal unit, and Lana, probably the hardest hitting, if not the hardest hitting, uh, mage in the game, 100%, I stand by that. Uh, so, those three units are extremely good too, um, and depending on what you're looking at, I'd say they have their worth too. So, in this banner, it's really about TRs, and I feel like Bozel, Lana, Shelfinol banner, which comes May 2nd, I feel like is a little bit more worth it, if I'm being honest with you guys, from my opinion, and my standpoint, right? Um... And then the banner after that, so May 16th, is when we're going to get the new units, Landius and Rachel, which I hear a lot of fantastic things about them, guys. So do understand that, that don't go too hard on these banners if you're looking forward to new characters and stuff like that, because they are new characters on the horizon, Landius and Rachel, May 16th, and uh, days fly by, guys, so they'll be here in no time. So, should you something on this banner, look at your box, um, comment down below if you have any questions and let me know. Other than that, remember to like and subscribe, guys, and always, always stay positive. Peace out.